Hello everyone, so welcome back. This is a question that's been passed to myself by one of the subscribers. So this one is for you. So, so Deepak, so as you said, you'd like to see side-by-side -side floor plans of a two to four bed HMO. So this one's for you. I hope you enjoy this and I hope others can get a lot of value from this. So let me take my little face off this corner. You don't want me seeing that, do you? There you go. Oh, there you go. That's better. So this is, as you can imagine, a standard two bed terrace. The reason what you don't realize two bed terrace, most times this staircase is covered up around where the circle is now. So you don't really see straight through a staircase. So this would have been a front lounge. You normally have that covered up and the other side and you have an under stairs uh, storage. But in this case, it's not there. It flows all the way through. It gives you an understanding of exactly what we're going to do. So looking at this, this is lounge one over here, lounge two over there. Then let's march through these pictures to show you exactly. That's the other side. That's the, so basically what we've done, I'm going to step over here on the right hand side of that staircase. You can see straight through, you've got French or patio doors at the back. Then through there, through the kitchen, this is where we are now. There's the kitchen, there's a hole on the left hand side of the patio. You can get through the kitchen to the left also straight through there so this was a lovely kitchen that we bought look at the ceiling all hanging off i'm loving this tile effect so you can see standard two bed terrace going back one room one room kitchen at the rear most terraces have either got a bathroom upstairs at the back or downstairs at the rear so, looking back through so out the back garden looking really really lovely i will share what we've done with that as well this was the old-fashioned toilet there is a toilet inside there. So going back through from the other side of the kitchen, walking back through to the lounge and the staircase. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs, you've got an open bit of a, like an old pantry there. You turn left, so go up the stairs, turn left through that little hole you can see there. It takes you to here. Bedroom one on your left, bedroom one on the right. Sometimes two bed terraces, this is three bed, two beds. That's one big bedroom. That's what you would have been originally. I'll show you exactly why. This wall is a stud wall, yeah? So you can see that was one bedroom. So going from a, a one bed there, a one bed in the middle, that's two bed. Now you've got one bed in the middle, one bed to the left, and one bed to the right, that's a three bed. So we are looking to get this either from a two bed house to a four bed, which that'll be the one, one's in the middle, two, or one, two, three in the middle so there's the one and through this wall you get into this room and that is through there so you've got one two and three i'll show you exactly what i'm on about now so all i'm going to do is jump there's a the staircase go through the staircase this is the party wall here with some overhead storage you walk down you can just about see there them blue tiles that's the bathroom and you go along to the very end turn right through this door i'll show you in a minute that's the bedroom three which is right behind this wall. What we did is took this down and pushed this right back. I'll show you in a second. So there you go. That's the bedroom, which you go to that like daylight, turn right. The bedroom is literally doorway there. Into the bedroom, as you can see, there's a chair. And this is a lovely bathroom. Yeah. And this is where you need to be a bit to make this work. So let me show you a few pictures just to, as it went on. Let's go right back to the beginning. If it allows me to, come on. You never work when you want them to. So yeah, so this is what you probably see as a normal terraced house. So you can see exactly what we've done. We've brought a step lower. So when you walk down the staircase, you see it's a sweeping step into the front lounge. The reason why we put it in the front lounge is because you have a gas meter and an electric meter in front of most terraced houses. And you can't put them on the outside because there's no, no front garden, it's straight into the street. You can't be putting gas meters straight onto the highway. So what we've done, and if you can see just through there, we've put a board up. So I'll show you that in a minute, but you walk down this corridor. Now we've created this understair story that's normally in a terraced house. So if you picture now where this yellow is now, this yellow circle, there's normally a doorway there. So you walk through on the stair storage, we put a stud wall down the right hand side all the way down to the kitchen. I don't know if you realise we've moved the door across as well. I can show you that again in a minute. So 
So you're walking down the corridor. This is the new stud wall. That's the old kitchen. If you can remember the old kitchen, let me go, go back and show you. So, if you see, the old kitchen door is there. We move the door right across. This we've also bricked up here and got rid of the patio doors. So you can see, got rid of the kitchen. We've boarded up this door here where you walk through to the patio doors. We've already cut in there. Also, you can see the lines ready for the new back door. That's the bedroom where we put the stud wall on your right. Originally, you used to walk through there and go up the staircase here. It's all now one nice room. You can literally see on this HMO where the bed's going to be. You've got a plug socket there, plug socket there. The bed will fit in square here. Bedside table, really nice. There you go. You can see it's bricked up in the kitchen. This French and patio door here will get taken out and a window put in up the staircase, as I showed you before. Left bedroom one, that was bedroom two. And if you remember, we used to walk through to the right hand side. Let's go back again. Let me take you through each one. So there you go. So this picture, you walk now, you walk through there. We block this up, we allow the toilet to go round the corner to make this all fit perfectly. There you go. So you can see the door's there now, no longer there. Let me go back again. Yeah. So you can make sure you do. It's perfect. That's now a shower room. This is going to be a four bed with two bathrooms. Perfect. That's the bedroom one. That's the bathroom. Jumping over the staircase before, you used to walk in a straight down there. Remember? There's a wall here. Let me go back again. There you go. So you can see the difference again. That straight down there is no longer. Jump ahead again here. So what we've done is made our own little stud wall here. You've got to walk around to your right. The bedroom door is just on the right here now. There's literally there the bedroom at the very end. So there's a door. Bedroom two. We've got bedroom one downstairs. Bedroom two in front of the house there. Bedroom three in the middle here. And bedroom four at the back. There's bedroom four. And then bedroom three, sorry, in the middle. Bedroom three. That's now going to be the second shower room, right in the middle of the house. Okay, so it'll be the sole stack in the corridor to feed. Into the back bathroom. Sorry, into the back bedroom where the old the bathroom used to be. That's what I meant to say. So, before I talk through everything else, I'll show you this nearing the end in a second. I want to show you more on the floor plan because I know even though I showed you on physical pictures, a lot of people prefer to see floor plans because it's more education, it's more physical, it's more people like to see more than touch sometimes. And this one is a really good example where you can screenshot, you can share, show your build exactly what we did. So we walked in here, place this porch, walked into the living room. As you can remember, all this was open plan. We put that stud wall in there, that black wall. We put the stud wall in here that black wall, put under stairs doorway in, bedroom door, we move the doorway from there to the left hand side, this was, this was option one by the way, option one was leave that open there, put a hallway in here, so you've got a little section left with a window for this bedroom, and a new door for the kitchen, so, but we didn't do that, we obviously got rid of all of this, so that's one big kitchen, put the doorway in there, I'll show you more about that in a minute, Upstairs, this I say is option one. So walk up the stairs, empty cupboard, bathroom here, bedroom as you've seen, bedroom in the middle, the doorway right up there, a doorway, and a big bathroom. I looked at this and I thought it's not quite what I wanted. I wanted a little bit more, a little bit better. So let me think, or let me you tell me if this was a good idea. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, do subscribe below. Ask me your questions and I will do videos specifically for yourself because I know there's people out there that will be listening that are probably too scared to ask or think it's a silly question. Remember, there's no silly question. So let me try and do this for you now. Right, so that's the picture. So here you go. You can see ground floor, we put some bedding in. What we've done here is put the window in. So looking at the ground floor here in that bedroom one, let's call it. Patio door, put the window in. Look at the back of the kitchen here. Put the door in. The kitchen now has got this nice and flow. 
If you put the door there, you'll lose space on the bedroom and you wouldn't be able to put a cupboard either side. So you've got a knife flow through the kitchen. You walk up the staircase, so you're on the right-hand side now. Up the staircase, we put a cupboard door on right there. Option one, there's no cupboard door. You turn left, the bathroom there, you can see exactly what we've done. From moving the door there on the pictures, we move the door there. That allows a shower tray, sink and toilet. That allows a nice big open space. See the picture? Exactly the same. Turn right, coming through here. These are the biggest changes that I wanted to make. So this bathroom, I've shortened it down, put a stud wall in there. And now, this bedroom has got a, a wardrobe. You don't need a wardrobe in there now. That's utilising, maximising the space. This is a usable floor area to our council. So, I've also, that doorway was right up here. Because that was one big full bathroom. We pulled the door all the way forward as far as we can. We put this door in for the cupboard and this bathroom door was up here high. We said, no, let's pull the bathroom door down. So, look at the bathroom door, look at the bedroom door and look at the wardrobe door. There you go. Bathroom door, we pulled down to here. That bedroom door, we pulled right down to here. And there's a cupboard door here. That leaves a problem in the bedroom door. Obviously, we pull the bedroom door all the way down to there. Okay, so, one, two, three changes. And that door came from here to there. So, now we've got one bed, two bed, three bed, four bed on the ground floor. Originally, it was a two bed back in the day. The reason being... Let's call this a lounge. Let's call this a dining room and kitchen. This would have been all one bedroom. So that would have been the second bedroom and the bathroom. Don't forget that was a walk down the side there. So you can see exactly what we've done. So what would have happened is uh, the families would have got bigger. They would have created that as two bedrooms originally. And that, that's created a third bedroom. It's cheaper. Let's just say a thousand pounds or fifteen hundred to put a stud wall in. By the time you put the stud wall, you've got a new skating board, you've got new electrics and radiators and painting and decorating, etc. So that's cheaper than moving into a new house at the time that the owners originally, or the second or third owners, we don't know, made that into a three-bedroom. So we've gone from a one, two, and a three-box room into one, two, three, four nice-sized bedrooms. So going back to the back garden, I don't know if you can remember this picture I showed you at the beginning. This is the back garden, this is the old toilet and a lean to at the house. This is the side, looking at the back, these apple trees are massive, they're everywhere, massively overgrown. What we did with this, convert it to that. You can see, from this, this, to this. Put two new fences up both sides, the last thing we need to do is put a pane of glass in here and paint the shed. But that's the last picture we can find. So let me just show you a quick a picture from nearing the end of this project, which was this one, I think. Let's have a look. Nearing the end, this is where we're walking the front door. This is the front lounge. We did a light grey and white paint effect. These spots on the ceiling. That's where the sofa goes. One sofa there, now one sofa there. TV's on the wall here on your left. Right there. We walk through the hallway. Bedroom right, kitchen, as we said before. This is the kitchen. I don't know if you can remember. That was originally. Bedroom one downstairs. Passive potential has gone window fitted. Show you the back. There's shower room. Bedroom two. Bedroom two. Bathroom one. Bedroom three. Two. Well, that's helped. If you have got any questions or comments, as I said, let me turn you on. Yeah, so thank you very much. If you have got any questions or comments, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe below. If you think I can help anyone or share this video, please do share. It'd be great to help. Don't forget, I will be looking out for more questions from new subscribers. Thank you very much.